Happy Monday. Uh, today we're going to go through this and what I'm actually looking for. Uh, let's talk about this because, quite frankly, I'll be honest with you, what you turned in is garbage. I feel like many people waited till last minute, even though you've had seven days to do three pages, like not even three pages, I'm sorry, three pages, seven days to fill out three pages, seven days to fill out three pages of information. I want you to think about that. Seven days. And many of you left parts blank, skipped over it, or did exactly what I told you not to do. You fill out more paperwork when you go to a doctor's office for your first appointment than you do for this. But I get it, it's high school. Yeah, man, what's it matter? What's it matter? Well, it's your grade. I guess it doesn't matter if it's not important to you. Uh, but I'm going to make this very clear. I'm giving you a chance to redo these. I, let me phrase it. I'm not giving you the chance to redo these. You are redoing these because, again, you're going to give me a new one because most of them I'm not happy with. And this isn't everybody. Some of you did try, and I can tell by looking through it. But when there's, you know, one or two words written down and they're spaced three inches apart from one another to make it look like you filled in information... You know, good for you trying your hardest there. Um, and if you can't tell, there's some sarcasm there. I don't give you busy work. My goal is when I come back from break, we take your plan sheet and we go to work. We don't sit around at the tables. We don't twiddle our thumbs. We go right to work. For some of you, though, I think we're going to be sitting around and that's fine. Uh, if, if, if that's how you are, if you're like, well, whatever, cool. It's easier for me to put in a zero than it is to put in a hundred. Again, there's two more digits with a hundred. So with that being said, project plan sheets, we're going to go through this. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm looking for because maybe I wasn't clear, but I feel like many of you probably are wasting time. So here we go. I'm going to do it for a box. In fact, hey, look at a wooden box with a ruler in it or a scale if you got me for drafting. We're going to talk about this. Cutting list. Well, this is each individual piece. Well, we'll go at the top. I'm sorry. Hey, my name, Matt McMullen. The day's date that I started this. It's Le Box, which will be French for The Box. Please, in words, and I even tell you in small words, I feel like many people aren't reading. I'm very frustrated with this. Just read. What does the direction say? Okay, well... Project description. In words, what are you building? I am building a four-sided storage container with an open top and a solid bottom. Cool. Let's go through a cut list. Some of you drew pictures. Some of you just like wrote tons of stuff. It's a list. And then I literally give you an example, right? Sorry, the lighting in here is not the best. Right there. I literally give you an example of what I'm looking for. Please write down things like this, but that's okay. So let's, let's go with this here. We got this rectangular box I built. Okay. It's got a left side and a right side. So let's do that. Let's go left and right side. It's got a front and a back and those are both the same front and back side. And then it's got a bottom. There's two pieces for the left and right side. There's one, there's two. There's two pieces for the front and back. Uh, there's the front, there's the back. Those are both the same size. And then there's the bottom all by itself. Some of you drew pictures of like a train and then you're like one board. Well, that's weird. It has like 10 wheels and little pistons and everything else. Each one of those is a piece. You have to list it out. Hey, McMahon, I don't have enough room here to write all of these little pieces out that I'm going to need. Guess what? Get a piece of lined paper. And then here you write C attached. So let's start with the very basics. We've got, we know this is going to take five pieces to build. Hey, look at that. One, two, three, four, and then the bottom makes five. 
So let's start with how thick is this wood? Because we're gonna need to know. I take and I measure, it's three quarters of an inch thick. It's all three quarters of an inch thick. Except for the bottom here. Let's see here, that one looks like it's, oh, that's half inch. So three quarters of an inch thick. So at three quarters of an inch by three quarters, okay. Oops, I'm sorry, that was supposed to be a half, I said. That's an easy fix. Okay, so thickness comes first, now our width. So let's go back here and we look at which way the grain is going. Okay, grain goes this way and then the grain goes this way, so that width goes against the grain. So let's see the sides, the front and the back. I'm gonna measure them right now. They're all three inches, every one of them. Okay, what about the bottom? The bottom is not three inches. The bottom measure is bigger than that, so that's gonna be, that measures four inches. And then we measure the lengths. Okay, the side here. Excuse me. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five inches long for the sides. The length of the, these sides is 11. And then the bottom, I'm not even going to measure it. We're just going to do the math. Three quarters, see the bottom goes all the way across, and we know that we measure this at 11. 11 plus three quarters and three quarters is 12 and a half. List all the tools that I'm gonna need to build this. Many of you didn't even write down simple things like, I don't know, the first thing I'm gonna need is a tape measure. You know what, we'll do this on the second page because mine printed off a little funny and that's okay. We'll start it on the next page. Tools that are gonna be needed for this. Here we go. Uh, a tape measure. Uh, if this was not plywood, if this was actual regular wood, I'm probably gonna need a joiner, a planer, the miter saw, the table saw, to ensure that all my edges are at 90 degrees, I would need a square. What else could I use? Oh, I need glue. Well, glue is not a tool. Glue would be known as a general material. So I come back to my general material list. List all the accessories needed to complete your project. This area is for material other than what is on your cut list. So this is not wood. So I need brads I have so far, polyurethane. I said I need glue. Okay, what else would I need? Hmm, if a nail didn't go in quite right, I may need to drive it out. So a hammer, a pair of side cuts in case I gotta cut it. What else? Side cuts. Oh, I got brads, I need the brad nailer. Uh, gonna need Let's see, what else would I need? Probably a pencil to mark some of the parts. Hmm. Oh, I need to make it smooth at the end. So I need some type of sanding equipment, maybe a palm sander. Some people just wrote sander. Uh, I've got disc sander, belt sander, drum sander. What, it, what? Which one? I'm gonna need a palm sander. Man, anything else? Probably a paintbrush. I'm going to put a clear coat on this when I'm done. Now, some people also said, hey, I'm going to put paint and clear coat on it. This is not a car. When we paint wooden objects, the paint itself has gloss to it. It's like when you paint a room. You don't paint it and then put gloss over it afterwards. The paint itself is naturally glossy. The only thing they do clear coats with is automotive stuff or airplanes. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I do with this one. I think for this project, that's all I'm gonna need. There's nothing round on it. There's no holes in it, so I don't need any drill bits. And some people wrote, hey, I need a drill bit. That's great. What size? I'm gonna put screws in it. Well, if you need screws, you're gonna need a driver and a countersink and a drill. I think that's it for this one. I'm just looking around still. I don't need a bandsaw. I don't need any of that kind of stuff. I don't need the disc sander. I don't need the dado saw for anything. I think I think we're good. Okay. 
Total board foot. I don't know. I'm just going to write 10. No, you need to actually do the math. So, how do we do this? It's all confusing. No, it's not. Look at, hey, look at, let's go back right here. Kabam, right there's the equation. I literally, by setting it up this way, like I told you to set it up, right there's the example. By writing it just like that, number of pieces that are the same size times thickness by width by length, that's the equation. So let's do this first one. We've got, I'm going to get my calculator out because I've got two pieces, so two times three quarter, which in decimal is 0 0.75 times three times five equals 7.53, but then we got to divide it by 144 cubic inches. 0 0.05, oops, sorry. Now to the next one, I've got two times 0.75 times three times 11 equals divided by 144, 0 0.34, okay, last one. One piece, so one times 0 0.5, because this one's thinner, times four times 12.5 equals 25. Then we gotta divide that by 144. 0.17. So this whole thing, we're not even going to get a whole board foot out of. 0.17 plus 0.34 plus 0.05. Uh, or 0 0.56 board feet. So board foot needed 0 0.056. What kind of species am I going to use? Pine. Hey, pine's a dollar a board foot. Also, please use pine or oak for your project for the toys. If you're in metals, uh, you're seeing this video and I know you're not using board foot. That's okay. If you're in metals, you can go to like online metals.com and get a good price on your project you won't have to do this part but you'll definitely have to figure this out and don't guess it's five dollars it's so obvious when people guess it's 0.68 you put all even numbers or something five seconds i can look at these things i can tell you if you're just making up a number if you want to make up a number i'll make up a grade so I got a dollar a board foot, so dollar, you know what, I'm going to write it like this. A dollar a board foot, because I'm using pine, times dot, I'm sorry, it shouldn't be dot zero five six, it should be just plain old dot five six. Hmm, one times point five is 56 cents. So, McMullen, if I was building this thing out of pine, it would cost me 56 cents. Yeah, wood's well, cheap. And we know that because we're figuring this all out. Okay, the order of operations. Here's the big part I want you to look. That last sentence. Do not generalize. So many people get wood, uh, cut wood, put together, uh, finish, give to kid. Wow. Take it and just read it out loud to yourself. Or even, you know, I should say read it out loud, but just read it. Based off of your order of operations, do you even know what you're building? Like, could you figure it out? No, you probably couldn't. And this is a tough part, putting all your thoughts into words. It can, it can be difficult. But let's talk about this. What would be the first thing I need to do? If this was just rough sawn lumber, the first thing I'm going to need to do is since I'm not gluing anything together because it's not going to be wide enough to have to do that, I would, uh, one, first, plane all material, 
to three quarter inch thickness to it would be joint all material on one side. Uh, three, we can use miter to cross cut and table saw to rip all material to specified specified oh there it is brain wasn't working specified sizes per my cut list and then I would probably put a note there saying rip first because if I cut them and then if I were to take and cut them into pieces and then try to rip them, I'd be ripping these little tiny pieces on the end and that ain't gonna work. So let's see, four, uh, test fit. Five would be apply glue to all seams and Assemble and brad nail. Uh, number six would be allow to dry, then sand. And my last step on here is I'm just going to finish it. Uh, apply finish. Uh, sorry, I need to apply finish. I put it as needed or now apply finish till desired. I want to say finish again till desired outcome. No, it'll desired. Now I'm just going to put apply. I'm using polyurethane, so I'm going to apply finish till three coats. Applied. Whoops, my paper's falling. Nah, my paper keeps falling off right there. So, look at that. I got it in seven steps, and this is actually, I can tell the teacher knows what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to plane all my material down to three quarters of a thick. I'm going to joint all my material on one side only. I'm going to use the miter to cross cut and the table saw to rip all my material to the specified size. Put my cut list. I'm going to take and test fit it up. I made sure, ooh, I got to rip first. Make sure I rip first before I actually cross cut because I don't want to make that mistake. Uh, I apply glue to all the seams and assemble and brad. Oh, maybe I should make sure in there, uh, use square on corners. McMullen, why aren't you using a level? Uh, what would a level tell me? The box is level at the ground. You need a square. Uh, allow it to dry, then sand it, and then apply finish until I get three coats. Some people's I wrote down, you never even told me like what size you're gonna go to. You just said, hey, do this, then do this, then do this. Well, McMahon, you never said what size on here. Oh yeah, I did, per cut list. Last page, it says draw a picture. This is where I would suggest you flip it over right to the back and actually do one of these things. Watch this. On the back page, see back. Let's draw this out. And I'm not going to be an artist. I'm just going to draw it out to the best of my ability. First off, what a lot of people did was they got their, their paper, and this is what they gave me. It's right there, McMullen. See it? Dude. Gave you a full eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. Use the whole thing. So let's, I'm gonna draw this out. Normally what I do is I draw the top view first. If I'm right, like a bird flying over it, I'm gonna draw the top view. And I'm gonna include thickness. 
because the wood has a thickness to it. You know, and this is just for a simple little box. Your project may be more. And I'm going to show how the seams are. Why would that be important? Well, that way I know how to assemble it. So now I can say, hey, these things are three quarters of an inch thick on both sides. The overall length on this thing is 12 and a half. The width of this thing overall is four inches. And then the top, and I'm gonna draw it again, showing thickness down here. I'm gonna label this to top. And we're gonna call this the front. Oh, I could see that actually. I could see that, it doesn't have to be dotted. And then from the front view, same thing. I don't have to tell it's 12 and a half long, I already know that. But what I don't know is how long these pieces are. Well, I know that this, oops, my pen's starting to die, is a good old whopping three inches thick. And then this piece here is only a half inch thick. There, got everything I need. Literally have everything I need. I got glitter on this for my daughter. Literally have everything I need now to make this. And this drawing is a perfect no. Could people construct based off of this? Mm, I could add a little bit more. Like, uh, note. Glue. And Brad. All seams. Uh, what else could I add? Um, yeah, that's probably about it. Just trying to see if there's anything else. Maybe I'll label them that this would be, you know, right side, left side, back, front. bottom and I'll label that as a view so people don't get confused there that's everything I would need for this box I mean it, it's it's everything it's not complex but everything I need is there I see how many inches everything is like oh maybe I do this too whoops lost my phone note all measurements in inches because i didn't label anything really i mean a couple of these i put some labels but i didn't label all of them there that's everything draw your wood with thickness hey mcmahon I'm, I'm doing a train that's fine i would keep your you know your toy as simple as possible um not making it like 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 dumbing it down kind of deal but i wouldn't make it like i'm gonna build my kid you know a complete victorian dollhouse Try to keep your kid's project under two board foot. If you can keep it under two board foot, you're good. Uh, well, the last part that we got to fill out still, I think I missed it when we were looking through here, is where was it? Ah, nope, I didn't. I did put it in there. Please estimate time. Some people put down, it's going to take me two days to build this. I'm giving you six weeks to build the project. So what are you going to do for the other five days and or five weeks, three days? It should take you roughly five to six weeks to build this thing. Hey, McMahon, I don't know what color paint I need. Uh, so how can I fill this out for my kid? Or I don't know what their name is yet. Uh, all you have to do under general materials list is just write down paint. You don't have to tell me what color yet. We can go back in and add that in. When they build a house, they will make changes as they go through on, their, uh, on the actual blueprints. But let's go through. So here's our project. We've seen that. You can see how I filled it out. I want a list. Notice too, by listing it exactly like this, just like we've talked about from day one in class, the equation's already done. All I have to do is just go this times this times this times this equals some number divided by 144. And then I add all those together. 
and that gives me my total board foot. I'm gonna write down here too that I'm building it all out of pine so I know what it is. Materials other than wood, I need polyurethane to finish it, some brad nails and some glue. List all my tools, there they are. There's my total board foot, there's my cost, there's my plans for this. Or not my plans, I'm sorry, my order of operations. And then, hey, draw a detailed plan. That's a detailed plan. Let's be realistic here. Um, I could take just this picture, go give it to somebody, and they should be able to build this box. There's no questions on it. Everything they need is right there. I don't list the tools in that. But this is a good enough picture that it has everything that's needed. And that's what yours is supposed to be as well, is that I could take your plan and go into my shop in my garage where I've got a bandsaw and a handsaw and some other hand tools and build the project without you even being there. And I shouldn't even have to question you or call you up or email you and say, hey, what does this mean? Your blueprint should be that detailed. All right, here's what's gonna happen. This assignment was originally worth 50 points. I took and made it into 10 points for last week. Some of you got zero, some of you got 10. Uh, based on how far you got on this and how well it's filled out. It's not going to tank your grade. It may hurt a little bit if you just, you know, didn't do anything in class. Well, you earned what you got. However, this right here that you did for me last week, you're going to take it and you're going to redo it. Hey, McMahon, I spent all that time and, and do I, you know, I only have to change one section. That's fine. If you want to erase and change the sections that you messed up on, that's fine. But I want a final draft. I want something that is going to be worth not 10 points, but it's going to be worth 50 points. That will destroy your grade. I'm telling you right now, 50 points in my class will destroy your grade. If you don't do it, if you just do it haphazardly, please, 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 please. You got till Wednesday to redo this. I mean, a lot of you had a great start. If you slacked off last week, well, you may have to work a little harder this week. But it, again, whether you put the work in now or, or earlier, you're still going to have to put in the same amount of work. Actually, you probably have to put in more work. That's on you. So this will be due Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. I prefer you turn in the paper version. Uh, if you can't get to it by then, that's fine. Turn it in digitally. If you're online and an online student, turn it in digitally. But go ahead and do that. Oh, I hear a little Sawyer crying. It's time for me to go then. All right, so that's what you're doing for today, Tuesday and Wednesday, online and in person. Redo these. I walked you through how to fill it out. Mr. Southwell can help you. Don't be intimidated to ask him. He's a very intelligent man. He can help you on this. Please ask him. I chose him as my sub for a reason. All right, it's a new day, it's a new week. You can do this. If you've got simple questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.